I'd have uh, three fights this year. The last, two, the, this is my third fight in August 16th. The last two fights is, uh, I fought uh, Craig Hockley and Colly Mahan from the same gym, Lionheart. I stopped uh, both of them with uh, body shots in the fourth and fifth round. Uh, when I, I'm fighting Ivor Clinch on August 16th in Neptune Stadium, Cork. And uh, I'm moving up weight, 66kg. He's a really tough fighter. He's, he's naturally bigger. It'll be a really good fight. Train hard for it. Feel strong, feel fit. There's great fights on the Rungle Reed fight in Hornsene again. There's going to be a knockout there. Sanchez fight Milidi. That's going to be fantastic. And there's really good fighters on standard Irish fighters is after come out along in a grand, a grand, uh, along a great way. Uh, Ryan Sheen has moved to A class now. He's fighting Keith Wall from uh, Courage for the Irish title. And that's going to be um, a really good fight. That it's made in history. It's going to be. It's really good. Yeah, it's hard to get up ranked, uh, ranked high in Cork because there's so much great fighters here, and there's like Andy Gray, Sean Clancy, Aaron McCallaghan, uh, Shane O'Neill, all the Cork lads. Are, they're very good fighters fighting abroad, international all the time, and they're fighting top English UK fighters. They're winning and losing, but they're improving. They're getting better and better, and it's just really hard to get up there. Yes, there's a, there's a few tickets uh, still uh, going around. I have a few ringside and they can get a standard for people if they want them. But uh, the front row and the second third row are sold out at the moment. They're, really, they're gone. Yeah, November 1st, there's another show Martin Horgan's putting on. It's, I think it's MMA in the cage and there's Muay Thai rules. and Muay Thai fighters wearing MMA gloves for the six zones in, with uh, Thai rules in the cage. and. It's uh, something some of the fighters might be wearing tight gloves, but just for that to happen in the case, it's going to be knockouts and uh, it's going to be unbelievable. Yeah, my last fight was a really tough fight. He just kept coming forward and it was very hard to get my movement going on him because he was just caught me off. But uh, I managed to break him down eventually in the, in the end and I stopped him with a body shot. But uh, he's a really good fighter and he'll, uh, he'll go far in the future. Yes, I, I took a few weeks off, but I'm back now, like, uh, I'm back stronger, fitter, I'm ready for August 16th. It's going to be a great fight against a really tough fighter. I can't wait just to see the other fights there. They're going to be outstanding. Uh, before I started my tie, uh, I went up to uh, Boston twice. My aunt lives up in Boston. I went on holidays once or twice in Lanzarote. But uh, my first fight was actually international, it was K1 against a fella called Seth Buckley. Uh, I stopped him in the first round with a hook to the head. And uh, from the, my first time I was fight him was in uh, it was a cocktail show up in uh, Silver Springs I fought Dylan Morris. He's a he was a really tough fighter, he was, he was catching where he kicks. It was just clinching all the way, it was low, it was, on, it was just unbelievable how much adrenaline you get in the fights and you wouldn't feel as much as you thought I would like because it was my first C class fight. Uh, from there on then, I'm just fighting in, in Sheffield and I, I, I travel over with the lads that's fighting for my, for my gym like Aaron McGahey, Adrian uh, Kirby, they, they were fighting in Birmingham recently and uh, they were really good fights. Uh, Aaron McGahey's actually moved up now, he's gone, he's fighting in Neptune Stadium, he had a really good fight, I'm really looking forward to see him show, show people what he's actually, what he, he's actually capable of. And also Jordan Thompson, and I trained, I trained him too. He's a really good fighter. He comes forward. He he's a he's another fella to look out for in the future. And uh, I don't I travel along with the people abroad, but mainly fighting home no one. Yeah, my family and and uh, trainers are very supportive. My friends too. Uh, so my brother's uh, uh, wife. Maria Kelly, she's she helps me in the mornings. She goes to the gym. She, I do a bit of cardio for her. She's really fit woman. Um, Seamus Cogan and John Kelly, they're really supportive. To to get my work in, I get everything done with them. We practice on loads of stuff, and we we just plan to get better for every fight, get stronger. I think we we I'll go far in the future, hopefully. 
a training spot in Taiwan College. We're located at Unit 8 in, uh, in the Shmorek Industrial Estate. Uh, we're open Monday to Saturdays, so it's Mondays and Wednesdays, 6 to 7. It's a joint class, kids and adults. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays is uh, 7 to half 8. Also, we just included a new class. It's the, a kids' class on Thursdays, it's 6 to 7. And Fridays is mainly a spare night, uh, it's 6 to 7. And uh, we uh, train Saturday mornings, 11 to 12. Yeah, I, I helped out my brother John with the kids class and if the trainers can't make it up, I always help out and I could take the class over and just uh, do as much as I can with them, try to make make them uh, improve or improve on their fitness, their techniques. I help uh, with the kids class, if I'm doing a circuit, I make sure they're doing the exercise properly and they're improving, getting better at it. The majority of uh, clubs, train, the trainers in the clubs, all set off in a uh, car toy, which is, was uh, owned by Anthony Cockery, like my, my trainer Seamus Cogan and then many other other uh, trainers started there. Anthony only fought last week after being out of action for over 20 years. He's 53 years old and going in and showing that he still has it in him is incredible to see. Sean Clancy from Sia Morris. He's a great uh, person I look up to because he's up using Thailand fighting, he's knocking ties out, he's doing what he do best and he has two, I think it's two titles he beat against Andy Gray, that was a fantastic fight, I'd love to see that fight again. Uh, he trained so hard I got told, he's, all, he's a busy man, uh, also Paddy Douglas from Dublin, he's one of my favourite fighters I look up to him too, he's, he has a great style. He's very fit, he's very strong, he's in great shape and he's he's winning constantly. Also Jordan Watson from Leeds in the UK, from a uh, bad company gym. He's I looks up in loads. He's an incredible fighter. He's taken on the best in the world he fought. Oak out in a really close fight. Uh, I don't know how how the young lad, he's only 24, 25, is actually competing at this high standard. He's 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 a really talented, talented kid. Uh, I look up to Sancho because like, he's so poor and I'm, I'm so poor. I like to try out a few of his tricks and I, I'm practicing on them for, la for the last uh, few months. So uh, hopefully uh, I might impress him in August 16th with a few of uh, new techniques I'm trying on. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm sponsored by Athlete to Wind for my last couple of fights. They're doing a great job on getting good clothing loads of t-shirts and they're coming to record my fights, record me training, they give me great deals trying to get me other sponsors. It's a uh, it's great getting sponsored by Atlee to Point Door. Hopefully uh, we've loads more to do in the in the future. Atlee to Point Door have loads of great fighters and really high st high standard fighters from all over Ireland and internationally and it's just to be sponsored by Atlee to Point Door and having the roster of them quantity of fighters is unbelievable to be sponsored for it. Uh, I saw there the other day that uh, Dylan Sheen broke his shin in sparring. It's same same scenario as uh, Anderson Silva and the UFC. Uh, I wish him, on behalf of me and that 8.0 fighters, uh, a fast recovery and uh, hopefully he'll be okay. He'll be ready to fight in the future. Hopefully it's not too serious. Last week, me and a few lads from the club were down to K2C for an open sparring session. There was a it was a great for uh, for get all the new sparrows in. I sparred uh, big names like Andy Gray, Kieran O'Brien, um, Darren Cashman, Conor O'Keefe, uh, Wayne Cambridge. They're all big cock fighters, and uh, I think a few other lads sparred them too. So it was a great experience just to get get in and uh, mix it up with the uh, new new style fighters and that. If you're thinking of getting a tattoo in cock. Check out Magic's Tattoo Studio on Facebook. It's really cool, Magic. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks.